Welcome to Welcome to Relax and Paint. I'm Donna Dewberry, and I want to show you how to turn this silver background to a painting. And I'm going to just start out with something new, all flowers, and how fun that can be. So let's get started. And do me a favor. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and like and share it with your friends so that we can have more and more content on this channel and you can grow your art talents with me. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is share with you that there are treasure gold paints and they used to be solvent. Now they're water-based. They're wonderful. I've got platinum. I've got a rose gold. I've got gold, gold, all kinds of backgrounds you could use besides the silver platinum that I'm using. Let me make sure. Yeah, it's platinum. All right. We're going to use my one stroke brushes. One stroke painting makes painting blending, shading, and highlight really quick and easy. And so today I've just got a 11 by 14 canvas and I have multiple coats. So let me share with you what happens here. All right. So what you want to do if you want to have silver is or, or gold. Let me tell you a couple of things. If you want to have silver, you base coat it with a light gray or medium gray and not have white, okay? And this is a normal white canvas that I want you to see turns into um, a pretty silver. But to get that platinum silver color, you have to have the gray underneath. Now, if you wanna have gold, you would put yellow ochre, a yellow color underneath like this, okay? And then it would give you a beautiful luscious gold. So I did put two coats of silver on here. And I'm just going to, instead of shading like the other piece that I did, I'm going to just start painting. So I'm using my three quarter, three quarter inch one stroke brush. Okay. I would dampen it, dry it off, and I'm ready to go. All right. So what I want to do is I'm just going to paint. You could chalk in your flowers. You can go to my um practice strokes on Fridays and see some of the strokes that I'm going to show you that you might not know. I've got um, a 16 flat here and I usually I use a lot of flats so I think that it'll blend shade and highlight for you very easily okay. So the first thing I want to do is decide where I'm going to put some of my leaf designs. So I'm going to come in here with I, I use the three quarter for the flowers. I'm going to go back down to the 16 and I'm going to pick up some white with medium gray. So this brush is damp and laid on the paper towel. Let's get white and work in some medium gray. All right, wicker white, medium gray. This is folk art multi-surface paint, which means it goes on all kinds of surfaces. It's wonderful to use. And we're going to use medium instead of water. See that floating medium? You dip into that. It's the same thing. It's on my website. It'll show you um, in the description how to get that. And that's what we use in everything that we're painting. Well, I'm going to go back to make it a little bit easier for you because I am. Where's my chalk? Here it is. I am going to chalk it a little bit. I think it'll be easier for you. All right. So I'm going to, I think you can see, or maybe you can't, just a little bit of chalk in here. I'm going to put some hydrangeas up there just a little bit. And then I'm going to do a big pink flower. All right. So right in here is going to be that flower. Oh, that shows. Okay. And then I'm going to have some bright, limey, citrus color flowers down here. All right. So we'll come in here with some poofy pink blossoms and maybe one up here. And I might not use all those, but I could take water and wipe this all out afterwards. But what I want to do is come out with some yummy leaves. All right. And have another one here and another one here. All right. So just this is this hydrangea up here. All right. So I know you can't tell much. I'm going to put this underneath here that I tilted up a little bit. So maybe it'll help you. All right, so let's put a couple of these leaves in here first, okay? I can even touch a little bit of licorice here and there, but for right now, I'm just going to come in, and you're going to see 
how great this looks on here um, with this paint. Now, this, by the way, is a yummy, beautiful look on glass, like stemware. You can get that same kind of look just like that with just white and gray. Isn't that pretty? All right. Now that's just white and gray, but I'm going to pick up a little teeny bit of licorice now and watch this. I can come right in here and pull some licorice through that too. All right. Now let's get a little bit, go back to the white and gray. And so I have a stem out here that is going to be some gray, little bits of black still in there. And then I'm going to slide down this side. Now, all of these leaves, we can go slower and slower on our Friday show where I practice stroke and teach you strokes that you don't feel comfortable with yet. Like we work on leaves, we work on angle brushes to help you make e leaves even easier, maybe. All right, these are all strokes with the 16 flat brush. It's blending, shading, and highlighting with each stroke, guys. So as I come down, these are black, gray, licorice, medium gray, and white. All right, so let's come in here again. See how I want different shapes. I'm looking at the outside edge. All right. Let's, let's come along here. All right. We go out, out, back in, out, back in, and stand up, stand up, stand up on the chisel. All right. Now look, just those have a really pretty look. All right. So the chalk's going to come off, but that's going to be your base. Now I'm going to I'm going to do this up here because this I want this hydrangea to be the same thing. So I'm going to use the same color, and I'm going to go back and forth. Watch this slip, slap, slip, slap, back and forth. And this is going to be a hydrangea that's kind of behind these other pretty flowers. All right. Now that's just looking like not much yet, right? Well, I'm going to come in here and then pick up a little bit of licorice with that clean white brush, white, maybe some medium gray. All right. And every once in a while, some licorice. Now, those are just push, push, push. Or there's different strokes that we can make. Um, where you can see where I do hydrangeas on Friday's classes, okay? My most watched show because they're quick, short, and quick, and you can um, watch them and um, over and over till you feel like, oh, I got what she's doing. All right, let's go to a three-quarter inch brush, all right? It's just my largest flat brush, and I love to use this three-quarter a lot. All right, so on this one, let's put some of the citrus this is the citrus green multi-surface paint. And we're going to use that citrus green and work a lot of white in. So it's flat. I dampen this brush, laid it on the paper towel, and go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now, I don't want it strong citrus. I want to blend it, blend it, blend it till it's worked way good into the synthetic nylon brushes. All right, you check out uh, my most favorite brushes is a nice video for you to check out. All right, so I'm going to go in and out, the same kind of movement I'm doing with my white leaves, okay? All right, now I'm going to come all into here, and we want layers like a peony. See how pretty that turns out? Now watch this. We're going here, in and out, and in and out. And that's the side view. Isn't that yummy? The thing that's going to make this gorgeous for us is the silver. When we're all done, you're going to sit back and go, wow. With that silver in the background, it gives you something that makes it just really 
take over this painting. All right, so I'm going to keep going this way, and I probably will bring in some licorice over in there too. All right. Now, we have a couple there. I think that's probably enough. All right, because the pink flower is going to go in there. All right. So let's take, oops. I'm going to take my sponge and take off a little bit of my chalk that I'm not going to use. Just because I tell you to wait and do this later. And I want to see if you can see this. And see if you're getting the look that we want. Okay. All righty. Now, I have to put something there because that grabbed it. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. So now what we're going to do, I, will, I want you to see that you're not going to believe how fast you could do a one-stroke flower painting. And it's all because I am multi-layer, multi-load my brush. Sometimes just double load, but multi-load. And then I add all this yummy pressure and I'll do it. I'm using yummy too much tonight or today. All right. So let's see. We're going to come in here and we can just push, push, push. I'm going to come back and get more paint. All right. Now I love painting flowers. You'll see the more painting you look of mine, the more you'll see. I find lots of ways to work flowers into my paintings. The one stroke way. I would love to have you come join my Facebook group. It's Donna Dewberry's official one stroke group. You can buy lots of product at discounts. I have all kinds of lives during the week so that you can have advantages of getting product. Or you can go to one stroke.com. All right. And now I'm going to come down here. I think we need something down here. All right, so let's do a different kind of flower here. Let's do a kind of zigzag underneath. See that? Zigzag. But when I'm saying that, I'm kind of laying it down. And up on the chisel, I usually tell you to push down. Say I'm going to be up on the chisel on this. All right. And I just put the leaves where I want to put them and the flowers where I want to put them. And sometimes it covers them. And sometimes it stays nice and clear. <coughs> Excuse me. I've lost my voice last week with uh, a bug that's going around. And so... I'm just started using my voice back, so I'm having to be careful. All right, let's do some more here. This will be more of a side view where you're just looking down on it. All right, so now I'm going to take white. And I'm up on the chisel of that brush, okay? So now look what happens here. I'm going to make fluffy white strokes i'm on the chisel i'm pulling them to the center 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 is this kind of fun if you've never seen me paint before this is they call me like the slice and dice knife lady where i'm showing them all the different things you can do with a knife but i love to just show you that you, you can be free and enjoy art and just see what you can make this look like with big brushes um, I heard the most popular brush size in my industry of painting is like a six, a six round. I'm like a six round. You go crazy. It's so small. Okay. So then I can also come in here and I can do a little spiky for the center. See, so even get some little, little bits of white detail in there. All right. And <laughs> sorry excuse me all right so i'm going to take some licorice and a little scruffy brush that i created it comes in three sizes all right it's just 
like a makeup brush almost, but it's very stiff. It's natural hair. And I can come in there and just add little details. Pouncing. We pounce it up and down. All right. So, so far, that's where we're at. All right. You having a fun yet? All right. So now I'm going to do the big, beautiful flower. All right. Actually, let's put a couple of leaves over this one before we add that big flower. All right, I'm put a little teeny bit of licorice or maybe a lot of licorice, I don't know. All right, so it is, oops, right down here. All right. All right, so I'm all about trying to find Colors that are great for your decor, for lots of people's style. I want you to think about that. See how that kind of blends in really well. Um, I can also come over and side load a little bit more in the licorice and grab this flower base here. And this is kind of scary, but we paint wet on wet. So you can go right on top of that red, that a wet, limey green, citrus green flower. And then you could take this wet right on top of it. I, I kind of laugh when people say, oh, no, no. I, I said, what are you waiting on? And they go, I've got to let it dry. I go, no, no, no. You can use a blow dryer, but we're doing wet on wet. And so we just like to put that green uh, blossom in the back. And look how fun this is, guys. All right. So I'm going to show you a couple more little details on here after we get done with this flower. All right, I'm jumping, but you don't, you won't enjoy this to see this until you see all of the colors on here. And you're gonna be able to see the silver pop. Okay. See what I don't wanna do, I should not be doing this because what happens is I leave a film on here of white. I'm going over this so do what I say not what I'm doing <laughs> I have many kids children I have seven children and that's what mama say right all right so let's go back to the pink our last flower white and magenta please give me some ideas of what you think about what I'm teaching you if you want more if you're liking what I'm, you're seeing if you can't believe that somebody can paint that fast and what you would like to do if you want to do more okay uh, let's come right in here we're going off the canvas off the canvas off the canvas now because i'm trying to move quick here i don't want that black and the pink so okay just a little bit all right so i'm still getting that pure white okay and i uh, moved this down worked it in so it's a light pink all right so i'm you might have seen my rose on here that i demonstrate as my main video well this is just more loose than that normal rose that i do this is a peony that is just um, really soft, comes back, comes back, comes back. You see that? So I could just keep picking up the pure white. This is um, wicker white or titanium white. That big bottle is titanium white. And I don't know the a big difference in the two but whatever works for you okay so isn't that getting yummy all right there i use yummy again sorry i don't usually use that word i guess i'm in the mood tonight i keep saying tonight it's whenever you're watching me okay we post some music early early in the morning this is a citrus from back there and I'm on the chisel of this eight flat. I have all kinds of flats all the way down to a two flat. And my I've got the 10 
Signature, I've got a signature brush set with more expensive, more fine art brushes. But my value pack, a 1059, is going to be your favorite set that I demonstrate on one of these videos because it's inexpensive to get all 10 brushes I use the most. And you can be on your way to paint, paint, paint for less than $20. All right, right here on my site. Okay, now I want you to know it's nice to come in here and put a little licorice here and there. All right, so let me show you how I'm going to do that. I cleaned off that brush. I didn't wash it, but I just came in here and got some licorice. And I'm going to come right through here. And I'm just going to add some little detail with just licorice and a really fine line, which is on the chisel. But you don't push down, guys. You take and you stand up. And you're pulling it all back to here. All right. You can go out. See, I got too big on that one. But you can keep working on it. It'll be good. All right. Now I can push down. Push down. So I'm on the corner pushing. Pushing. Look how fun that turns out. And that gives you a lot of contrast between all the white I've been using. You like that? Well, I think it's going to be fun. Because you can use this combination of any colors. All right. So just think about that as you're doing this. And then right in here, I decided to come in with some little black extra strokes in here. Just to give you a little bit of more of that black detail. Like a little dried flower ranch that you put inside the arrangement here. I like to act like this is in a big flower pot. And I just took a photograph of the little teeny pieces of that spilled out of the vase. What do you think? All right. And then I can come in here. See how that licorice really is dramatic. You got to go slow so it covers that. All right. I had a fun time doing this with you. Just creating it from my mind and then you guys try it out even if you didn't paint with me I hope I inspired you to paint with me in the future I also have a membership if you like to paint more and more and more and it starts at ten dollars a month okay wow isn't that fun so when I get off, I'm going to clean it all up and um, sign it and post a picture so you can go back and see more. I'm going to come in here and add just little bits of this licorice in here to kind of pull it in. And that's what I was trying to do in here is when we had a little bit of licorice. We got to come in with more white and, and licorice there. And... Um, this guy has a little bit of a stem and sometimes I like to come in here and just come back along here and add just a little detail or not. You can leave it like it is. See this? I can come in here and outline loosely a little bit and I don't think these need any black in it there. Okay, but I will sign and post. And I would love for you to paint and come post on our Facebook group. It's a private group. All you do is share how you saw me and ask to join. All right. Thank you, guys. I hope you have a fun time with it. See you in the metallic.
All right. All right, let's paint. Thank you.